Can you say focaccia? I love me some sourdough. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my kitchen. I, I mean shop. Uh, today is a very special edition as I'm about to be kicking off a whole new channel of food by Wright. And that's right, today we're going to be working with sourdough and focaccia. That's right, uh, hand tools are fantastic for doing woodworking. Uh, they can do very good, quick work and give you some really nice results once you learn how to use them. But the trick is that you can also do it with food and make yummy things with hand tools. So that's what I want to explore today. And today we're actually going to be making a bit of a sandwich. And I want to do a dovetail sandwich uh, with a summer sausage and a little bit of Havarti. And uh, we'll taste and see how this goes. So let's jump into the project and get started. So it is very important to have a good working surface and these are ingrain cutting boards and it's very particular that you have a Pac-Man themed ingrain cutting board with the Ghost and Pac-Man. If you want to see the video on how I made these, I have a link to that in the description. I'm also going to be working with uh, some horseradish Havarti and uh, some aged Gouda. This has been aged for about three years and it's a really good crisp work. It's a little harder so it works very well with the hand planes. Also I have uh, some focaccia and then I have this really nice sourdough which I am in love with. So we're going to jump into it first by making the crust. So for cutting the bread, I'm going to be using a tenon saw. It's nice, it's deep, it's long. It also has a, a rip cut, which is far better for the bread. Although a cross cut might be good in some of your softer things. The sourdough is a bit stiffer. The uh, rip cut will work far better. So I'm actually going to start by taking off some of this crust. And unfortunately, I don't have a bread bench hook, whereas that would be very nice. And you see how you get this really nice crust coming all the way down and across. Oh. Love that stuff. And then we're going to get into our first actual slice of bread. And I want to cut it about a half inch thick. Now, I don't know about you, but I find these to be a little bit small for a sandwich. And I want something a little bit larger. And because I'm a woodworker, I want dovetails. And so that's why I actually have two, the focaccia and the sourdough. And I actually want to make a secondary slice and dovetail them together. That, may, that adds to the flavor and really brings out the texture difference between the sourdough and the focaccia and the, the slight bitterness. So again with the focaccia, I'm going to start with the uh, saw, cut off the crust, and then start cutting into it and get out the slice that I'm looking for. And so now I want to actually join these together into one piece and make a really nice sized sandwich. And for that, I'm going to do dovetails. And I like to start with the tails and gang cut them. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a, uh, a good moxin vise that will hold these nicely and good and soft, so I'm going to do it freehand. Now, you could do this with a gent saw or a dovetail saw, but in this case, I'm going to use this gent saw. This one is from Two Cherries. I really enjoy it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So for a layout, I'm actually going to use my marking knife and come in here and mark out kind of what I want for the tails. Now, because this is a very soft wood, I want it to have a fairly aggressive um, angle on it, so it's actually a very broad tail. So I'm going to lay out those marks and then cut them with a dovetail saw. Now the nice thing about bread is when you come in to chop out the waste, you can use a chisel and just come in straight and with a single chop cut right down to your baseline. And it makes it very quick, very easy and a nice simple gesture. Um, also because they are so soft and easy, you can actually just cut it with the heel of the saw and uh, lay it out like that. Oops, I cut off the extra. So now we can remove the waste and I want to bring in these and lay out this and actually find out what I want to cut out. So I'm going to lay this on top of here and then I'm going to use my marking knife and I'm going to transfer the lines down here so that I know exactly where I need to cut to give yourself a nice tight joint. And then I'm of course I'm going to come back in with the saw and I'm going to find those marks and just cut right down to it. With the chisel I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut down to my baseline and remove the waste. I love cutting dovetails in bread. It's just so quick and easy and simple. It's just a joy to work with. 
Then for the moment of truth, we do the testing, and oh, look at that. Isn't that a perfect fit on that dovetail? And that's just, that's fantastic. I love really nice tight joints like that. It's a good piece of bread and make a fantastic sandwich. So let's put the other one together, and I'll come back when we actually start doing the bread. So now that we have our bread all jointed up, it's starting time to start mo moving on to the uh, sauce. And for this, I'm just going to be using a uh, mayonnaise. I'm really not particular about it. I don't go into uh, details and things like that. Now, for spreading this, uh, there's a lot of different things, but I actually like an inch and a quarter chisel. Uh, it works fantastic. You can just uh, slather it in there, and it goes on really nicely. Get a really nice coverage. You're not worrying about w messing around with that little three-quarter inch thing. So I'll put this on, and then we'll start getting into the meat and cheese. Now you might be wondering if this is going to ruin your tools, but actually this is a fat. It is much like the, the natural uh, lanolin that uh, would have been used on tools years ago that comes from sheep. In this case, it's more from cows, but uh, yeah, tasty good. So now that we have the joinery all done, let's move on to the meat and cheese. Um, I like to start with the cheese, and this is a fantastic Havarti with a bit of horseradish. Um, a low-angled plane works fantastically for this because you can open the mouth wide amount. Um, also, you don't have to worry about the chip breaker, so I, rather than sliding the plane, I actually like to slide the cheese along the meat, uh, along the plane. And you can see how I get these really beautiful curls coming out the back. I'll rotate it every now and then. And these just thin, light curls add a lot of flavor. They get a lot of texture out of there. Oh, this is making me hungry right here. And if you don't have a low angle jack, you can just use a traditional hand plane. Uh, it works fantastic. You just have to move the chip breaker back, open up the mouth a little bit, and uh, then we can use this aged Gouda, which is a good hard cheese. Works fantastically for this. And you just see these curls coming out of here. Ah, oh, just beautiful. I mean, this is, this is what good food looks like. Oh, happiness right there. Cutting through the rind a bit. Now that we have our cheese all sliced out, rather than laying it out flat, I actually like to leave it on in curls. Uh, this actually will aerate the cheese and provide more of the flavors to work through in your mouth. Just really like it like that. Just sprinkle it on top, almost as if it's like a feta or uh, a parmesan. Ooh, this is just looking so yummy. I'm really looking forward to digging into this. Now onto the sausage. Now if you really want to, you can plain the sausage, but with the sausage you're going to be running into a few issues. It tends to bind up a bit more, and it's not quite as, as useful as other ways. So I actually like to do it in, uh, of course, like a pizza pepperoni sausage style. And for that I'm going to be using a, a flush cut saw. It's a really fine set so you're not wasting a lot. It cuts through it really quickly, and you can get these really nice sausage slices that you can stack onto the sandwich. So I'll cut through this. And uh, we'll almost be done with this sandwich. So there you go. Now that I've layered this on here, I can then put this other slice of bread, flip it up over onto the sandwich, and there we go. We have a dovetailed, handmade, hand tool joined sandwich. And this, this is, mmm, no, that, that is fantastic. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is, just, this is, this is real, real kitchen work here. This is awesome. Oh heaven. So now this is absolute heaven and the, the quality of hand tool woodworking um, brought into the kitchen is just it's so much better. Uh, especially when you get the uh, good ingredients. It is amazing what you can do with good hand tools. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a fun one for me. If you did like it, please hit like and go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, I want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why food keeps happening on this channel. If you'd like to find out more of that, you can do that right over here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, happy eating!